okay. Hey guys, it's Steph, and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing if you have. If you haven't, check out some of our content, and subscribe if you enjoy it. We also have a vlog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. Link is in the description below. Follow me on TikTok at Steph Loves Love. I'm over there going live, y'all, so don't miss out. All right, y'all, today I'm trying some new stuff. Y'all know I'm in heaven because I love trying new things. I'm doing Persian food today, y'all. I've not tried not one thing on this platter except for the pita bread. I've tried that before. Okay, so I also have a dessert too. So we're going to see how that goes. Are y'all ready? I got a viewer topic interesting one too are y'all ready let's get into the video that's tasha that's steph let's go ahead and fill in the rest we're gonna eat a little drink a little our story time is the best have you lol when you click play no this ain't no clickbait all right y'all i'm back so today as i said i'm doing persian food um i've never tried any of the, these dishes before I had the bright idea to try something new because I, I really do love trying new things. But when I thought about trying something new, I wasn't that hungry. So I was like, you know what? I ain't that hungry. So even if I don't like it, it's okay. By the time we got here, y'all, starving. So let's hope this is good. <laughs> Let me tell y'all what I got. I got a lamb shank. I don't even like lamb, y'all. But I, I have had lamb a, a couple times that I did enjoy. So we're going to hope this is a, another time that that happens, okay? Very interesting smell. Not bad, just very interesting. Definitely made with spices that I don't use. I smell a little, honestly smell like cinnamon. Is this gonna be sweet y'all? They got some juice in here for me to dip. I like juice now, I like dipping in juice. Okay, let me tell y'all what I got. So this is one whole marinated simmer lamb shank in our special saffron sauce. It's served with fava bean dill rice dipped with saffron rice. Okay. And then I have, I'm not going to even attempt to pronounce this, y'all, because I'm, I'm going to do it all wrong. This is an eggplant dip. I think that's one of the popular, I guess, appetizers, maybe. Because I saw it at, at every Persian, Persian restaurant, they had this. So, I'm trying that today. I'm not a huge fan, fan of eggplant either. So, today is... Let's hope y'all change my mind on certain things today. Okay? I got a dessert. This is ba Bamia or Bame. I don't know if I'm saying it right, but it's a Persian donut. So we're going to try that at the end. I have a viewer topic. If you want to send one, send it to Steph Loves Love on Instagram. Okay, guys. What do I get into first? I guess I'll... Should I just go straight for the lamb shake? Ooh. I mean, I couldn't even tell you the flavors that are in this, y'all. I, I don't know. I don't even know. It looks good. Looks good. It looks like it's falling, it's falling off the bone, so I guess it's cooked well. I'm scared. I ain't gonna lie. Let me get, let me get some of the sauce on it, though. Let's sauce it first. Make sure I got the flavor they want me to have on it. I'm kind of excited. I'm excited and scared, y'all. Who's tried this before? Oh my god. Mm. They definitely got the cook right. Definitely got the cook right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. I'm not mad. I'm not mad at all, y'all. I can't tell you what it tastes like, though. Because I've never ever ever tasted anything like that before <laughs> I guess is that the saffron I don't know I don't cook with saffron so I really don't know the flavor like that but this is this is very different it doesn't have that that gamey lamb taste that I don't like if it does it's a very small hint of it 
And I just love how tender it is. Mm, okay. mm. Now, let's try this fava bean and dill rice. I feel like I should put some sauce on it, but I'll try it by itself first. Absolutely. Mm. That's interesting too. <laughs> I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. Y'all know how I love trying new things. This is not disappointing me at all. Mmm. 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 Yes. Is this fat or meat? Okay, that's meat. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is very interesting. Okay. All right, Lamb. I know somebody in here has made this, knows how to make it. They mama make it. Something. You send me a recipe. Because this really does not have the flavor that I'm used to for Lamb. Mm. They must cook it for a really long time because that, that gamey flavor is gone, y'all. Oh, I'm going to have to try this again from like some other places. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Mmm. The texture is kind of like some real soft beef stew. The flavor to me is nothing like beef, though. I don't even know. Guess it's just lamb. Huh? Okay, y'all. Eggplant dip. Who I can't stand eggplant. <clears throat> but it's usually like grilled or sautéed or something, and it's just so soggy and slimy. So maybe it's a maybe it's okay in the dip form. Smells very garlicky. Let me try it. Woo! Okay. Mmm. Ah. Huh. That's that's kind of rough. What's this in the middle? Um. Oh god. This is like woo. This middle part is like caramelized onions. Oh, y'all. Ooh, that's a lot. It's just so much. That's a little bit too much for my taste buds. Super garlicky. Let me try it with some bread. I don't think I like this. But I definitely will try it again. I'm the, I'm the person that will try. I'll try stuff over and over and over and over and over. Even if I think I don't like it. So I feel like one day, one day, you're going to find that place. Because I'm not a lamb person and that. That's pretty good. But, ooh. Ah, this eggplant is rough. I'm trying. Let me throw the tomato in there or something. It needs something. Mm. Oh, that's rough. I'm not, I'm not feeling that, y'all. I don't like the eggplant dip. Oh, God. It's just, it's not doing nothing for me. Like, oh, I don't even know. Is there salt in it? It's just eggplant, hella garlic, hella onion. <sighs> mm -hmm. I feel like this needs to be like used to like marinate something. And then you like sauteing it, not just sitting here eating it. That's a lot. This is a whole, whole lot. Ugh. Let me taste this little yogurt, yogurt on top. Tastes like yogurt. Like plain yogurt. Ugh, that's a no. This right here is a no for me. This right here is a no for me, but I definitely will try it again from somewhere else. This is a yes. This is a yes right here. Okay. So. I mean, two out of three ain't bad. Actually, I have my uh dessert so we'll see 
Mm. This rice is so different. The dill. If you don't like dill though, <laughs> you gonna hate this because it's dilly as hell. All right, y'all. Let's get into. Shall I do the donut first or the viewer top? I'm gonna do the. I'm gonna taste the donut first. Mm. I like this lamb shake though. Mmm. I'm kind of falling off, y'all. This is tender. That's super tender. I wonder how long they cook this. Damn, this, I'm going to buy me a damn lamb shake. So I feel like this would be so good, like in different seasonings. Like the stuff we do, barbecue. Mm. Mm. Barbecue lamb shake. Throw that shit on the grill. Let me take this. I'm not about to eat up. This is nothing but fat. Not doing that. Mmm. I'm gonna have to find out what's in this recipe, y'all. I'm sorry I can't describe the flavor at all because I just have never tasted anything like this. Mm. Bone almost clean, y'all. Mm -hmm. Somebody gonna be out there looking for lamb shake tomorrow. <laughs> mm. It kind of reminds me of a mix between steak and like a smoked turkey leg. Mm hmm Yeah. But not the flavor though. Like the flavor is, they're using some seasonings I don't use. because I have no idea what's in there. I, maybe it's the saffron. They said saffron sauce. I don't cook with that, so maybe it's that. All right, let's move this out the way. No one cares about that. Let's go to the Persian donuts. I ain't gonna lie. They look super sweet. I mean, it's dripping with some kind of syrup. Can y'all see? Some kind of syrup is dripping, y'all. And it looks super oily. Like, oily, oily. Okay, let's just try it. Let's just try it. This is about to be sweet as hell. Look at this. Hey, I put a little flower in here. That's cute. Is that a mini purple rose? Ooh, that shit smells good. Oh, my God. That smells so good, guys. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh. Mm. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Oh. It is drenched in sugar syrup. Sugar syrup is just heated up sugar. That's what this is. It is drenched. So, as soon as you bite into it, it's just... Look at that syrup. It is way too sweet for my taste buds. I mean, you got to have a major sweet tooth for this. Uh, I don't even know why it's five of them in here. <laughs> half that the half bite I just took was enough sugar for me for the rest of 2024. <laughs> okay. It's not, it don't taste bad. It's just so sweet. It's so sweet. Mm, yeah, that, that. Ooh, that's a lot, but this little rose is amazing. I'm gonna put that. It smells like something, y'all. What is that? I don't know, but I like it. All right, let me go wash my hands because it's sticky. All right, y'all, I'm back. Let's get into a viewer topic. I've been involved with the woman that I met about two years ago and just fell for her instantly. She put that in caps. She has been there for me and supports me like no other in everything. Okay, dope. She is the sweetest. We have grown together. And she is all of the things with the heart face emoji. The emoji with the hearts all over it, like chili. Just, yeah, that one. By the way, I'm a woman too, LOL. My issue is her freaking hygiene. Like from day one, it's been an issue. It's like no personal hygiene regimen at all. What? Mm. She's come a long way since I've been here. But she gets very upset when I don't want to have when she initiates it. I literally have to ask or remind her to wash and brush everywhere if she wants me to participate. It's like she don't understand wiping or something. And we're both over 30 years old. I need my needs met too, but I'm traumatized. 
<laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but I, I feel you. Okay, help me please, because I don't want to lose a good woman to her habits, but I literally cannot take it anymore. Much love, OGV. Okay, now, whew, this is a rough one for me, y'all. The hygiene is big, it's big. Like, if I'm dating somebody and you got overall bad hygiene, I'm not even sure how you made it to, you good. How did you bypass all that in the beginning and even find out how great she was? That, I would have had the friends on her real fast. I mean, like, okay, I, I dated somebody one time and they had, uh, they got musty really fast. So like almost every time I hung out with them, like their underarms was just strong, potent, right? I don't think they were a dirty person. I just feel like they needed to be told. Okay, so I told, one day I just said it. I said, you know what, the underarms don't smell that great all the time. You got some robust underarms, okay? So she was like, I do. I said, yeah, you do, you do, ma'am. She said, oh, I've been using this um, new deodorant. It was like an organic deodorant or something like that. Maybe that shit ain't working. It's definitely not, it's not. So she started using the real, real shit or whatever she needed to use and it went away. That was great. Boom, now we can proceed, okay? Uh, maybe you might have somebody with a, some stinky breath. That was a hard, that would be a hard one for me. There's different options that they could do to fix that. Um, but you saying overall, so breath stinking, underarms, you, you, don't wipe your ass. Just stink coming from everywhere. <laughs> I don't know how you do it. How are you with somebody for two years just walking, walking ball of stink? Uh, okay. I don't even know what my advice is because it's too much stuff. Like. You need to douse her asses in bleach real quick. Just douse her. Maybe that'll work. Buy her. What I was going to say for the wiping situation is buy her some wipes and have her use that first. Use the wipe. You know, you got to, when you use the bath, number two, especially, even number one, wipe it with the wipes because then you're like freshening it. You know, it's just not like, you, you wiping away dry and then you don't get it all. Get it all and then dry it up with the dry towels. That's that's an option, that's, I think that's a good option. Um, if that doesn't work, a lot of people hop in the shower right after. I like that option, I love that option actually. You know, I have a friend, every single time she uses the bathroom, she takes a shower right after. So maybe she needs to do that, okay? Um, my thing is, if I feel like if you've already told her stuff and nothing is changing, now you have to figure out if you just want to deal with it, living in clouds of stank every day, and not getting your meet needs met because you don't, you're not feeling it. Like you already scared when it's time to do something because you like, oh God, what fragrance is gonna come up today? You know, like it, it don't sound like a fun situation to be in in a relationship. Y'all might need to just be friends and you can enjoy. The great parts of her that don't have to do with intimacy as her friend and you can go find somebody that you would like to be intimate with I feel like if she don't change it you need to leave because why what do you stand for you can enjoy her her great parts as a friend okay she needs to fix it if she don't think it's a problem let her move on with another stanky mother. you will find somebody fresh because mm. and I hope she ain't got nothing no, like a problem you know I hope there's no problem going on because that can be transferred to you. So y'all need to make sure she okay. Especially before you be having sex with her. Okay, so th that, that's, my, um, that's my advice. My advice is if you think you've talked enough, it's time to leave. If you don't think you said enough, say more. Help her, give her some options. You be better than me because I, I couldn't. Especially, I mean, grown people, like, come on. You, do you not smell that? I mean, do you took a shit and just left dookie on your ass i'm good i'm good anyway y'all give her some give her some advice in the comments below because maybe i'm wrong maybe i'm wrong y'all i'm about to go i'm trying to edit this real fast and go live on tiktok so if you are not following me on tiktok please do so if you give a damn as steph loves love until next time only goodbye